Hello YouTube, so today what we have here on rails is a 2012 Honda Fit 13, um, 1.3 liter by VTEC Well, it's VTEC E but I VTEC As they call it, engine bay dirty Currently have it up on some ramps But I do an oil change today <clears throat> but today we'll not be actually changing the oil filter so we'll be using repurposing their engine oil as prescribed Let's see if we can see that yeah so we are gonna crack so we have it up on, on wraps this is a pan in a Making dish of some sort, with which we're gonna pull. We're gonna pull this bung. It's a 17 millimeter bung, so I'll just I place it on my place the socket on my ratchet, and as such, will connect like so. Sorry, kind of difficult working one-handed. Put this like so. Pull oil drains out into this pan this fender line um, for this particular fender guard what I would do would be to just use this funnel in such in such a manner that I can get the whole thing to just scotch just like that and we'll be oh sorry camera wasn't in the way so I'll have this funnel to just have it just drain straight into the container and we should be good to go I'll seal this back up and then fill from the top this is a five-speed automatic transmission uh, four-wheel drive transmission that is or what Honda refers to as four-wheel drive and as such with that in mind now we're gonna get we're gonna get started so first things first pull the oil cap oil cap is a bit stiff at the moment so I'll use an adjustable spanner to cool the crimp on top oh that's the makeshift oil pan container going away so drop this on the floor just leave this open to atmosphere to make the oil easier to drain drain out so just loosely there on top yeah yeah that's so bad it's fairly open to atmosphere so to get underneath and get cracking I'm gonna have to put the phone on pause the recording on pause for a minute as I have only one hand to do this and to catch that oil drain pan going away in the wind. Ah, there it is. There you go. Get more buttons. this one hold while I get this um, in order all right so back on the vehicle I've loosened oh yes yes I've loosened yes I've loosened this have my need to cut this now yeah I have my need to cut this and I'm just trying to on I'm gonna pull this but the problem is I have to no effort, let, let it, let it snow. Alright. And it is gushing. It's gushing. Yep, she is a gusher. Honda is gushing. 
all of that oil. Wow. It's a gusher. So we leave the car like this for a few minutes. The car is pointing, to the front of the car is pointing upward. Therefore, this section is pointing downward. And as such, it should theoretically be about the lowest point in the oil pan, theoretically. So, oh, I forgot to tell you, the, I had the engine um, warmed up to operating temperature before doing, well, partially to operating temperature before doing all this. So the oil should be nice and runny. And as you can see, by the way, it's blowing about in the wind. It's windy here. So it's, it's a hot, windy day here in Kingston, Jamaica. And as such, I decided this process here. Blah, 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 blah. Oil is draining. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, wind. Yeah, so. This is what I'm doing right now. Just waiting for this oil to stop draining. This is going to take a few minutes, so. In a few minutes, when this is done, it's trickled down to nothing. I'm gonna put back in the bong. The bong in question is this 17 millimeter. Oh, it's basically done now. Yeah, basically done. And I'll just torque it, torque it up the spec. Well, here's what happened for this side, I won't actually torque the spec. I'll just snug it up because it doesn't require much in terms of well it's a it's a honda so yeah it's a honda so no torque is actually me needed i would even say go as far as say finger tight but since i'm sure somewhere somebody somewhere is going to want to talk about um something i'll say a good 10 10 newton meters should be no 10 newton meters that's only kind of kind of um like a large value for a honda but Anyway, this has been drain, draining. I'll just leave this for a few minutes. Let this go on, do its thing. This is what the oil looks like down here. It's looking pretty oily. It is an oily experience. Very, very, very oily. Another day I'll do the transmission. Yeah, I'll do the transmission another day. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, well, this is trickling down to a to a drop. So, oil changes vary. Um, I'd rec strongly recommend that you follow your manufacturer's um, service intervals or changing intervals. But this particular vehicle is used for um, very short journeys um, day by day. So literally each day or for, I would say this vehicle drives literally one kilometer each, no, yeah, one kilometer each day and occasionally on weekends you might see it doing five kilometers if so much, five, six kilometers. But this vehicle does not, to this car, the vehicle does very, very, very short journeys. And because of that, you find that condensation happens inside the oil, oiling, um, oil system. And as such, uh, we would still do the oil changes in terms of time, not distance. So because this does many short trips, we would prefer to do the oil changes more. I would strongly recommend doing the oil changes much more frequently. And as such, this is where we are at right now. So this, I'll just leave this for a few minutes, make it just finish doing what it's doing here. And then I'll, I'll put this, put, put the bung in place, top up. So I'm going to pause the video. Just give, give it some time to do its thing and then we'll check it again. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Okay, so what we are doing is so we've top, we're topping up and checking the dipstick periodically. 
So, check, drop, 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 drop. Just busy with the with the drops here. Gosh, this alarm is going to get on my nerves. Yeah, so sorry. Do it have a actually? Yeah, we have a Viper car alarm that is just acting very retarded right now. It's not pro it's not properly wired up. Um, all right, so they hence that's what that's what that clicking is all about. Yeah, so everything has dropped. Trip, 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 trip. Maximizing everything that we possibly can out of these containers here. I'll just catch the in the bottle up like so. In the interim, while that's while that's stripping, check the oil level periodically. So let me clean off this. Oh. So I've cleaned off this dipstick that you're seeing here. Yeah. Alright, so so what to the bottle that you're seeing here is the third bottle, three out of four bottles. So 1.3 liter single overhead cam engine. So let us see. Oh ready to drop again. Yeah, so you can see what the mark well, because it's clean oil now, you can see it's like about 80% there about the actual level. So, just trying to gently clean this, or clean this off once again. Clean, clean. And check. Oh, sorry, it was not pointing the camera where you can see what I'm doing. I need a tripod and an assistant to hold this. Yeah, so looking at this again, you can see this is about 80%. Pop that back in. Put that out. Alright. Yeah, I'm wearing slippers. Um M O L S E R. I don't I don't know that brand, but it was cheap, so bought it. It it works. It fits comfortably. I can soak it in water just like I do with my Crocs. Oh, big shout out to Crocs! I'm putting some more oil in. Jeez. I think that should be about it. Down, catching this like so. Once again, you stay where you feel comfortable. <clears throat> Moving dipstick once more, swiping against nice and plate material, checking levels, nice and clean dipstick, no trickery going on here. Push in. Pull back out. Yeah, well, it was going up just a little bit more, but not yet full, so a little bit more oil is going to go in in this case. Kind of tricky doing this all one handed now. Oh, shooks. One important thing I forgot, I should have checked the oil level with the car level. Alright, let's try this once more. Pausing the video once more, put the car level and we'll check the levels. Alright, so with that now, <clears throat> so vehicle taken off ramps, oil levels actually topped up, topped up since then since the car is nice and level. Dipstick clean. Checked again and has reached the full mark. And as such, 
satisfied with that. Good to go. Oh, frame number needs to be closed. Yeah. And as such, with that, that is. Sorry, cheesy car alarm. <laughs>